most certainly. Um, would you like someone to call on you, or would you like someone to give you a call, like a telephone call? Yeah, a telephone call. I'm in this afternoon, if that's convenient. Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, I mean uh, let me see, I'm just grabbing a pen. Um, yes, you could be, you're, you're obviously in the Paul Bray area, are you? Um, well, I don't want to give my home address. No, no, you know, no, no, to, no I've been fine. told not to do that. I had no, problems no, no, before giving out my home address. Uh, I gave it no, out over the internet. No, um, be safe. Yeah, so um, I'm happy to speak on the phone. It, what really puzzles me is lesson seven. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. It says, why, point, paragraph one, why are we unable to see God? And it says, God is a spirit. I take it by spirit, you mean immaterial, not composed of physical substance. Yeah, yeah. God is a spirit, John 4, 24. Jehovah does not have a physical body. He is a spirit who lives in heaven, a place that we cannot see. What I want to know is, is the Holy Spirit another spirit? Or is the Holy Spirit the same spirit as Jehovah? Or is the Holy Spirit not a spirit at all? Well, no, no. We feel that the Holy Spirit, from, from looking at verses, is God's active force, what he uses to accomplish things. But that Jehovah is a spirit in himself. So is the Holy Spirit a spirit? As in not a physical, you know, we, a lot of people may use an image or something like that, but that, that God is obviously a spirit in heaven, something we can't see with our physical eye. So is the Holy Spirit another spirit, or, or is the Holy Spirit the same spirit as Jehovah's Spirit, or a part of Jehovah's Spirit, or is the part Holy Spirit... Part of Jehovah's oh. Spirit, in the, as I say, is what he uses to accomplish things, um, but not as... Um, not as, we don't view, like I know some believe that obviously that the Holy Spirit is a separate kind of entity. But no, you, as, as you've said, I, I would say that it's part of Jehovah and that it's part of his active force, what he uses, what it, you know, what he uses to accomplish things like creating the earth, you know, making things. Um, I, I can't accept that Jehovah has parts. So I'd be very, um, very uneasy about your definition that the Holy Spirit is a part of Jehovah. I mean, which scripture well, say, says that... Could, could I just um, finish? Um, could I just finish? Which scripture yeah, says that Jehovah has parts and the Holy Spirit is a part of Jehovah? Sorry, just say that again to me. Let me just... Sorry, I'm, yeah. I'm work from home and I've just got the yes. radio on in the background. Let me just get rid of that. Um, Sorry, say that again. Yes, thank you, thank you. Which scripture says that Jehovah has parts and that the Holy Spirit is a part of Jehovah? That, that's what you said. Which scripture let says me, that? Let me just uh, say, you know, literally, in fairness, I'm just working from home on right. um, that re reconciliation. My brain is not um, on that, so I'll just, I'm just going to... Um, have a look, because I can't remember, you know, I'd like to be a better Bible scholar, but I can't remember verses off the top of my head. <laughs> right. Um, but I'm, I'm, if, you, if you like, I'm, you know, I can, I'm happy, you know, I don't want to keep you waiting, but I'm happy to do some research for you on that Lesson 7, yes. I think it was Paragraph 1 you said, wasn't it? Yes. Lesson 1, um, Lesson 4 says, Holy Spirit dash God's active force. Now, nowhere yeah. in the Greek or Hebrew text is the Holy Spirit ever referred to as active force. That term is not found anywhere in the Hebrew or the Greek mm -hmm. that I've been able to find, even in your uh, Kingdom Interlinear translation. So, it's a bit like the word Trinity. You know, if you're going to point the finger and say Trinitarians are wrong because they use a word that's not in Scripture, well, active force isn't in Scripture either. And it, it's not found in Genesis 1-2, by the way. Um, the Hebrew is Ruach Elohim, Spirit of God. So just looking at this, I mean, as I say, we feel that the Holy Spirit is an invisible energizing force that God uses to accomplish um, his will. Um, it's holy because it comes from Jehovah. Are you reading it, from something? Because if you're reading from... No, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just look, oh. so looking at, like, Luke... 135 it talks about the angel came and said holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you linking it to the holy spirit yes and then acts 1 8 also says you will receive 
power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, um, when they were going to be witnesses of where it says in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the most distant part of the earth. Uh, agreed, the Holy Spirit demonstrates the power of God, I agree with that. But that's mm -hmm. not really my question. I mean, you said the Holy Spirit was a part of Jehovah. Could you prove that from the Bible? And the term God's active force, where is active force found in the Greek or Hebrew text? I guess that's my second question. Um, well, I, I just to say, yeah, I, I, you know, I or, or someone can uh, research that yes. for you. Thank you. Thank um, you. So we want... Um, active force and the third thing would be acts chapter 13 verse 2 um i would see the holy spirit as personal not impersonal because the holy spirit uses pronouns yeah, I, such as me yeah. and i yeah um, acts 13 2 as they ministered to the lord and fasted the holy spirit said now separate to me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. So the Holy Spirit uh -huh. speaks. It doesn't say that the Father speaking through the Holy Spirit. It doesn't say that. It says the Holy Spirit speaks. And when the Holy Spirit speaks, he uses the pronouns me and I. Now that's called self-cognizance. When you use the pronouns me and I, you recognize your own existence. If I said to you, uh -huh. I do not exist... That's a self-contradictory statement because this, by using the pronoun I, I prove that I do exist. Can I just ask, just so I know when I am um, get this looked at, uh, what Bible translation are you using? I'm, I'm happy to use um, several of them. My, my notes are in my new King James Bible, but I also use the NIV. Um, the New American Standard, I think, is more accurate. Um, the ES, the ESV. So I would look at several different Bible versions. Yeah, no, that's fine. But obviously, if we're doing like for like and, and researching, I want to just be sure which translation you're using. I would use all, of, using, them. So I, I I would use all of them. Yeah. Yes. No. I no. I didn't say King James. I said New King James. New King James. Yes. Yeah, though, but I use I use the NIV, New American Standard, and the ESV. I use all of them because I don't believe any Bible gets everything absolutely right in translation. And sometimes mm -hmm. the King oh, no, James. It's good to compare. I, yeah. I quite like Byington's. <laughs> right. And I'm Thanks. comparing, I think, because it's quite nice and modern English, more modern English, you know. Yes. So, as I mean, well as the New World Translation, as you probably realise, which is what yes. the verses are taken from in the Enjoy brochure. But have you got the Enjoy brochure book or are you doing it online? I've got the brochure. Right, yes. so you, but lesson seven isn't in the brochure. I've got the book. I was given a copy of the book. Oh, you've got book. the book, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. But, so, um, yeah, I didn't know if you had the physical book or you were doing it online. I've got the physical book, thank you. Um, okay. But um, if the Holy Spirit uses the pronouns me and I, then the Holy Spirit cannot be in, impersonal like a rock or a stone or like the wind or like electricity. If you turn on mm -hmm. your light switch... Electricity can't say to you, hello, I am electricity. I'm feeling really well today. How are you? Mm -hmm. Electricity cannot say me and I or mine, nor can the wind, nor can something impersonal like a rock or a pile of mud. Only someone who is personal can say me and I. And the Holy Spirit says me and I in Acts 13 too, you see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's fine. But as I say, I can get some research done for you, because as I say, I'm, I actually work from home, so it's a bit tricky yes. in a minute. Um, and we can come back to you if you want to give me, are you happy to give me your name and telephone number? Yes, yes. Has my telephone number come up on yours? or? No, uh, right. it might have, but if you give it to me again. Yes. Um, OK. Because, yeah, I, I don't really use my home phone very often, I've got to be honest. <laughs> OK. My name is Robert Skinner. Yep. 